Hey everybody, welcome back to TK Dwellum. Let's get back to the ancient world. Okay, so Jen had just finished building her form in Rome, or you know, her, not her form, her temple in Rome, which really increased her income. She's now rich, rich, I tells you, but it's my turn. And what am I going to do? Well, I certainly don't have enough marble to build a temple, so I'm not going to bother with that. Now I could generate, you know what, I'm going to go one, two, I'm going to generate some gold. All right. And now how much do I get? I've got two gold, so I get two gold plus one coin. Alrighty. And so that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn again. And I think she's going to go back to her resource. She's going to, can, she's going to skip right over all this military stuff, go back to her resource generating ways. She gets, she only has one. She gets one marble and one coin. Okay. And now it's my turn again. And see, so I got the coins now. Let's see. Because so what I want to do is I want to jump right over here to, to science so that I can uh, recruit some more guys so I can, you know, outfit them and stuff like that. But I, you know, I'm going to need iron as well. Let's see. So I could go on ahead, I could go one, two, three and get some marble myself. Or I could just do one and so I could move my guys. Boop and boop. So they're in a position to start saving up so I can get in a, a, some more cities. What the heck, I'll just do that. I'll just move them. So they both moved one space. Now it's Jen's turn again, and she's going to move one, and she's going to do some science! Ah, uh, let's see. She's blinding us with science. Okay, so here we go. Strata, roads, navigation, money, the Republic, and commerce. Jen could be, the, could be the first to discover any of these breakthroughs, and the first one has to pay a lot. The first person to do it has to pay five for roads, and then anybody, you know, the other player only has to pay two. Or six, seven, eight, nine. They all get more expensive. Now, Jen could buy, do any of those she wants. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six gold. She, which she, I mean, you can see right here. It says she's got to spend gold. She's got gold. Plus, she's got three more. So, she's really got nine gold, in fact. So, that's interesting. I was thinking that she was going to do money for seven. But she could afford to go straight to commerce. And this is a special ability. The most expensive one in the game. And it's a special ability that from now on would let her convert other resor resources into other resources at three to two. So that's pretty good. What the heck? Jen's just going to go crazy. Now, it's a shame. If Jen went for this, remember she has a total of nine gold she could spend here with, with the money. She'd have two left over because in addition to getting science on this space, you can see she could also recruit some more troops. So she can get a couple more troops into her queue ready to deploy. But Jen, she's going whole hog, all, all commerce or nothing. So Jen's going to completely bankrupt herself. Boop. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And she has claimed this. Now, you remember that was one of the objectives was scholarly. While I'm a king, I made myself a king, Jen has made herself a scholar. So she got, and these are only one for being the first. So if you're the first on all of these, you're, that's five points looking for you at the end of the game. So anyway, so Jen has done this. So she gets a score point. And like I did before, she gets to grab another city defense. So she's got two she could deploy. And she might need them because she's not building any armies to defend herself. All right. So, and me, because Jen scored a point, I get to grab one of these now. Charity. This is the one for if somebody pulls ahead of somebody else on the points. This one, pay one gold and take an event card anytime you want. And the Academy. Um, went on science, collect one gold per opponent. No. Ooh, now this is nice. Because I can see Jen's already gone into know-how. So if I have this, when I go to science, I'll get an extra buck. It basically becomes a bit cheaper for me to get science. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself an academy that I'll use at some point in the future. And then a new card comes out. Mutiny. Pay one gold and one military unit of your choice. Dissipates. Wow. So I could basically bribe one of Jen's army units anywhere on the board. But more importantly, Jen might get that and just instantly destroy one of my units. Um... Wow, that's, that's, ooh, okay. Well, anyway, so that was, whose turn was that? That was Jen's turn. She spent all her money and made a scientific breakthrough, got a point, and I got an academy as a result. Okay, so now it's my turn again. Let's see here. Now, I, I'm not going to bother to go to the militia because I, I have no iron to spend, and I got no militia to do. Let's see, do I want to, I could jump straight to science now and skip the, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to jump straight to science. And I am, I'm not coming here to do science. I only have three bucks, four if you count my coin. 
That's not enough to do anything. It would cost me six to follow Jen on this, and I can't afford any of them. So I haven't come here to break through science at all. I've come here to recruit more troops. As you can see right here, it shows one buck would recruit me a legion, a legionnaire, and two bucks would recruit me a galley. And I've effectively got four bucks. One, two, three, four bucks. I'm gonna spend it all. One, two, three, four. Why not? There we go. Okay, and before I'm done, I'll go on ahead and use this academy. When I'm on the science, collect one gold per opponent's know-how. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to get... I See, I, I paid all this, but thanks to the academy, I got a buck back. All right, so there we go. And actually, I could have just gotten a whole bunch of land troops. Nah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's, let's go with that. Okay, so I paid my four bucks, and that was my turn. Now it is Jen's turn again. Let's see. And so now... She's got, let's see, she wants to get herself another temple built because it'll increase her defense and it'll increase her output. Plus, once she gets three temples built, that's another point. She's only got one marble, but remember now, she can convert things three to two. So this is effectively two marbles. So right now, Jen effectively has three marble of the six that she needs. So it's not going to take her too terribly long. Jen's just going to keep on producing resources. She's going to jump over here. Ferrum, that gives her one iron and one buck. There we go. Okay, and so now really, so effectively this is three, four marble she's got. So she's almost got enough marble to build herself another temple. But unfortunately, you can see Jen's right now to the temple. She's going to have to skip over it now and do a whole other circuit around before she'll be able to build her next temple. Okay, so back to me, back to my turn. Right, so I got my troops. Now I'm going to need some iron of my own so I can equip these guys. So let's come here. I get to generate two iron and one coin. All right, so there we go. And so that was that, that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn again. She's just gonna generate some gold, which remember she gets a lot. She gets three gold because of her temple. One, two, three, and a coin. And so now Jen's got enough because she can convert all this stuff three to two into marble. That gives her a lot of flexibility. And, but it's gonna take her a while before she gets back around to that temple, unless she's willing to pay extra. What is it, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. She has to pay her four bucks to go to that right now. She's certainly, or four extra resources. She's not gonna do that. Now it's my turn again. And now I wanna get down here to militia so I can get these guys on the board. Hmm. But you know, there's another thing I need to do too. I've got. The, I could build cities in these two spots because I've got military units there, but I don't have enough resources. Remember, I need one iron, one gold, and one marble. Now I'm kind of regretting having skipped on the marble to get straight to the science, but you know what the heck. Uh, let's see, I'm going to come over here to the gold, which will get me two gold and a coin. Two gold and a coin. Now, you know what? What the heck? I am going to go on ahead and found a city because I've got enough. Right? Yeah, I do. Yes, I think I do because... I, I, I want to found two cities. That means I need two iron, two gold, and two marble. So I'll just use all this stuff. So let's go ahead and pay all that because I'll use these as wild card for marble. And I'm going to generate two more cities. Woohoo! Now, we'll do this one up here. Now remember, I, this is an iron, so I don't want to make this iron. I want to make this something else because if it's iron, it'll cost me extra. So I don't want to make this marble. Now I want to make mar I want more gold. I love gold. All right. And now this one down here, as you can see, it's next to every type, so there's no getting around it. Whichever type of city I make here, I'm going to have to spend one extra dollar because it's adjacent to an existing city of that type. Let's see, now do I want more gold? No, I think I want more iron. So now, I mean, so now I can generate three gold and I can generate three iron, and I need gold to recruit the troops. I need iron to outfit the troops so I can build my war engine that much faster. Okay, so there we go. Although I'm completely broke again, so I'm going to have to start all over from scratch. And now it's Jen's turn again. Let's see here. She has no troops. She doesn't want to put troops out. Um, let's see. Yeah, with that, she will go on ahead and she'll do some more marble, which is one and a dollar. One marble and a dollar. Very simple. And so Jen's almost to getting her next temple out. Okay, so back to me. And I... Now, I would love to come here and get my guys deployed, but I don't have any iron. i got to wait till I get all the way around here to get iron. So in the meantime, I guess I'll go ahead and get some marble too, which is my, my weakest thing. I get one marble and one dollar. Okay. And now Jen's turn again. Let's see. Now, actually, she's come around. Instead of, she's been saving up for the temple, but she could do some more science now. Maybe get another point. Does she want to? 
Let's see, what would she need? Like to get streets, which, would, which is the cheapest thing she could get, it would five bucks. She's got three, four, five. She could get another scientific breakthrough and score another point. And if she ever gets troops out on the board, or you know what she really wants to do, She's already increased her commerce, now she wants to increase her money making. I think that's what she wants to do. She is going to go once. She's going to do some more science, right? Because that's here? Yes. No, I, I, that's Jen. She's going to do some more science. She wants to do money. That costs her seven. Here's three, four, five, six, and now ah, she'll, she'll convert three iron into um, a gold and a and a marble. Is that right? Is that is that what you can do with this? With money? Let's just double check this. Money, money, money. Uh, no, no. Resource chips can be traded with the bank at a two to one rate, three to one ratio. Can you mix and match like that? That's what I'm not sure. Let me. Uh, right here we go. Commerce trade. D -d -d -d. The nation is allowed to trade resources three to two. Pays three resource chips. Whatever comp uh, type of composition receives two of his choice, but not coins. Two of his choice. Well, that means I, I two of my choice. So, yeah, that's fine. All right, so I, I did my swap, or Jen did her swap with her commerce. And so that means she has enough gold. She's got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven gold is gone, and she has just mastered money. And now this means she earns one extra of all the resources when she generates resources, and she has gotten some more know how. This is her second one, which scores her another point, which gets her some more defenses that she could set up later. Although she's not worried, because I'm still a long ways away from her. But you know, she doesn't even start worrying about that. So anyway, and because Jen has moved forward again, I get another thing. Let's see, mutiny. I could destroy one of her things. I could pay a gold to grab an event whenever I want. I'll go ahead and grab that. That's just kind of handy, nice, very flexible thing. Whenever I need it, I could grab it. Okay, and corruption. Opponent loses one of each type where he had, loses one of each type where he has more than three. Oh, okay, so you lose resources. If you, if you save up a lot of resources, wow, this would be really good because sometimes Jen has a lot of resources and I could make her lose stuff by uh, exposing corruption her her. But anyway, so I'll have this Oracle. I can use it whenever, I, heck, I could use it right now and pay a buck and get another thing, but I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. She has scored her second point. And so now she is, uh, she has no military, but you know, she's very, very good at the rest of the stuff. And now, let's see, I am going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to generate one, two, three iron and a buck. And I need that iron plus that wild card so I can get these guys onto the board so I can start moving my military over and destroying Jen's nice, peaceful, happy-go-lucky uh, economy she's building over there. But in the meantime, let's see. So now if she were to jump over here to the temple, she does not have enough marble anymore. So she'll go over to, she'll get some more iron and she generates one iron, but plus one. So she generates two thanks to money and a buck. Okay. All right. And would that be enough? She needs six. She's got one, two, three. This is four. No, she doesn't have quite enough to be able to build. So she's gonna have to wait one more go around. My turn again. All right. Now then, I could come here and get some more money so I could recruit some more guys. Yeah, with that, I will because I get three money. Three gold plus a dollar. All right, there we go. And now it's Jen's turn again. And I guess she'll generate some more gold too. And she gets three plus a dollar. So, but she gets three plus one, so she gets four. Four money. Four gold, rather. Nice. And a dollar. And so now she's got enough to be able to do whatever she wants. And now back to me. Okay. Ah, time to move and the troops, I think. Oh, well, no, this is moving my existing troops. This is getting new troops on the board. I want to get some new troops on the board. That's what I want to do. Okay, so I've got, I've got the iron. I've got all these guys who are waiting. I recruited them a while ago. They've been antsy, ready to go. Let's see, now, it costs me, what, you know, it only costs one to get the guys to recruit them, but it costs two iron, no matter what type of guy they are, to get them on the board. Here's two iron, and I'll get this guy into this city. And now, unfortunately, I cannot put any more guys into this city. I can only put one per city. Um, no, actually then, instead of that, I'll put a boat here. So I've got two boats there. There we go. Right. And then I'll spend two more iron in the course of one iron and one wild card. And I, I can't put them here, but I'll put them over here. So, and you know, so this guy could spread and start claiming these areas. And let's see. And now I got two more bucks. I could use these as wild cards to get my last guy on the board. 
What the heck, let's do it. But then I don't have the money I need to be able to buy one of these, but what the heck. I'll do that and I'll get my last guy on the board. Now he can't come out here, he can't come out here, so I'll put him over here. So these two guys can move over, grab two more cities, and I'm getting close to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm almost to ten cities on the board, which means I'll get another king bonus. All right. So that was it. I got a whole bunch more military out and about. Now it's Jen's turn again. And you know what? I think Jen's starting to get a little bit nervous. These two boats, they could start moving over here, and before too long, they could destroy Jen's cities. So I think for the first time, Jen is going to summon some units onto the board as well. Because she's got the resources to do it. Remember, it costs her two iron per uh, unit, so she's going to spend all four of her iron. And she will put this boat over here to provide some additional protection for Genoa. And she'll put this guy over here to provide some additional protection in Cremona. So these places have just become more protected. If, um, well, actually what happens is if I move my two ships into here, um, what will happen is Jen's ship will get destroyed, one of my ships will get destroyed, and then my last ship could still take the city. So that's something to worry about as we start maneuvering around on the board. But anyway, so that was Jen's turn. She's now got some units on the board as well. She's got some skin in the game. All right, and back to me. Uh, do I want some marble? Do I need marble? What do I need marble for? And now nah, I'm not worried about marble. Do I want some science? I don't have enough science. I, 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 I'm just going to go ahead, skip both these, and start moving my dudes. So this dude will come over here. This dude will come over here. This dude will come over here. So the next turn you can get over there. So they're just all spreading around. And these ships, well, I could move both of them over here so they're within striking distance. And in the meantime, they could get this city. Or I could split them up. I could have one of them go here, and I could go one over here. So I could start moving over to get this city out here. Um, but with that, I'm going to keep them together. And so Jen's really nervous now that I'm starting to build an armada that's coming for her. Okay, so I just moved a bunch of guys around. and um, But I'm not conquering anything because there weren't any cities there. And now I've got three new cities I could found. But unfortunately, I don't have the resources. Uh, I'm going to need to get some resources, but we'll worry about that later. Jen's turn. Let's see. She could get another science with all her con conversions. She could get a science that would let her start moving her troops around that much faster. Or this science would be nice. It would increase her defense everywhere, but it cost her eight. Eight gold. She's got four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Jen's going to do it. Science! All right. So Jen is going to pay eight gold. Again, this is four, one, two, three, four, five, six with the wild cards. She's going to convert um, three marble into two gold. Thanks to her com to her commerce, and that gets her res republica. Okay, so there we go. It's all gone, and Jen has scored another point. And let's see, did she get another one? Yeah. So she's going to want to start putting these defenses, these defensive walls, on her cities to protect herself even more. Right. Oh, and this is actually kind of scary. Oh crap! I didn't think about this. Hmm. Hold on a second. Maybe Jen doesn't want to do this? No, I think... One, two, three. Ah, she's completely out of resources now. So she can't get any of these built. Each one of these costs one marble. So maybe she shouldn't have done this. What did she do? She had four gold. She had um, three marble. And she had two bucks. That's what it was, right? Because it was four, five, six. Yeah. So actually, hold on a second. Jen is not going to do science because she's in a bit of a she's in a bit of a worry now uh, she just got her marble Jen is very worried that I'm going to move on her and try to take this out so what Jen could do is she could come over here instead and move this guy down so there's a little bit more protection but this guy can't fight the boats so Jen could still lose that she could move one step further well, actually, I think what she's going to do is she's going to go one, two, three. She's going to pay a resource. She's going to be a little bit wasteful. She'll get rid of a coin. And she, it, she didn't come here to build a temple. She doesn't have enough to build a temple. But it costs her one marble per um, upgrade to the city defenses. Jen's going to start putting, defending her cities. She's going to spend one marble and put some walls on this city. And she's going to spend one marble and put a wall on this city. She's going to defend all her cities. Why not? And she's going to spend one marble and put a wall on this city. All right. So all of her cities are much better protected. I think, can you have multiple walls on a city? I don't know. 
No. Let's look at the rules. This is under Temple. Uh, here we go. Town Hall is built at the Player City with this action as an alternative, or as an alternative, and or. Uh, raise the defense by one, cost one marble. Each city can have no more than one wall. Okay, yeah. So, all these guys are defended. She still has one more, but she's run out of marble. She could uh, she could convert some resources. She's got this wild card, but you know what? She doesn't have any more cities. So, she has paid an extra to get her defenses into position very, very quickly. Right. Because that means now, if I move my ships in, these two ships will blow each other up. And this ship, by itself, is not powerful enough to overcome her defenses. So, Jen has saved herself, although she had to pay a little bit to do it. Okay. So that was her turn. And then and, and she's going to have to put off building a temple that much longer. But, you know, if she had all those walls, it'd be a shame not to use them. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see here. I'm just going to go ahead and get some iron, which is one, two, three, and a dollar. All right. And now, on my turn, I'm going to found another city. I'm going to pay one, one, and one. And I'm going to found another city with one of my various guys. Let's see. This guy can't. I guess guy will. And now it's going to cost me an extra buck to make more iron or gold. So I could do a marble. But I don't care about building defenses or forums right now. But you know what? I need marble just to be able to build more cities anyway. So I think I'm going to build a marble because it's a different type so I don't have to pay extra for it. So I built a marble right there. And you know, I could build another city because I've got another wild card here. No, I don't because I'd have to pay to... Yeah, now to build here, it would cost me an extra buck because all the types are here, and so I wouldn't. I, so I can't. I'm just going to build the one building. All right, uh, from moving that guy there. Okay, so Jen's turn, and so she's got her defenses up. She's feeling much much better. She's going to go back to getting some gold, which is three plus a dollar. One, two, three. No, it's four. It's four. I, have I been forgetting this? Four plus a dollar. Yeah, I think, yeah, uh, when Jen got her uh, marble, I forgot to give her an extra one because Jen gets extras thanks to her money. All right, so Jen's going to get some more stuff, so she can get some more science going around the rondelle. And now it's my turn again. Let's see. And I could go on ahead and get some gold, or I could just jump right here and start moving my troops. But see, now I want to get another boat here, so that I could move three boats in and wipe this out all at once. But that means I'm going to need some more money to recruit. I need two gold to recruit. Oh, I've got the gold to recruit. Yeah. But I'm going to need some... Right. Okay. But that means i got to get back around here. Hmm. Now, this guy's doing nothing. I might as well move him so that he can start moving over to the front line as well. So I could just come over here and start moving my guys around. Yeah, what the heck? I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to move this guy. So he's into the spot. This guy's going to move over here with this guy. And these boats, they're not going to move yet. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're biding their time. <gasps> Oh. Oh, hold on a second. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. This is going to be kind of nasty. Yes, it is. Yep. All right. I'm going to move. I move this guy over here, so they're together. I move this guy, so I, I can... I've almost taken over all of Northern Africa. But I am going to move my boats in. I'm going to move him in here. But before I do, I am going to use my power of the Oracle. I can pay one gold, or one gold... Not a coin, but a gold. Taking one event card, and I'm going to take this mutiny. Oracle is gone. I used the Oracle to get the mutiny. Now I'm going to use the mutiny, pay one gold, and one military unit of my choice go, uh, dissipates, goes back to personal supply. This boat just mutinied on Jen. Oh no, she says. And now I'm going to move my two ships in. And since Jen has no defenses, my ships stand, and I've got enough because, let me just double check this, to conquer, uh, defensives is a city is one plus one wall, and Jen doesn't have Res Republica, so her defense is two. Conquering loses as many units as the defense of the city. Right, so the total defensive here is two. I lose two, but I don't lose them completely. They just come back here waiting to be redeployed with more iron. And this city has fallen. I have conquered this city. So this defense, the wall goes away, and the city is mine. I think, right? Did I just conquer a city? Uh, conqueror loses as many units 
As the FMC defeated nation loses all units, all military units lost conquest in their recruitment box. Yep, and there we go. I have just conquered one of Jen's. Jen only has two regions. I lost my ships. It was a very expensive one. And so I've just cut off Jen's ability to produce marble as well. Now the interesting thing is, Jen could just move right back here and take it back, although she'll lose this guy. Because I don't have much defense there now. And so now it's Jen's turn. And you know what? One good turn deserves another. Jen is going to use her militia. She only has one military unit. She's going to move him over here. And this guy, uh, the de defense of my city is one. So he comes back over here. And Jen has just taken the city back. So that was a little bit of tit for tat. But in the meantime, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, if I'd only had one more, I would have been at 10. And I could have. But anyway, so basically, I did all that. I permanently made Jen lose one of her boats. She's going to have to pay two gold to get it back. And I made her lose one of her walls. And these ships are just waiting to get deployed again. So that was a little tete-a-tete, -tete, a little dance. And now this one's just waiting. I can start producing more ships and sail right over here again. Jen's really got to start worrying now about protecting herself a little bit more aggressively. But anyway, so that was Jen's move. And now it's my move again. In fact, I'll come over here and I'll get some. I get two marble plus a buck. Because I've got two marble generating houses now. And I can't found another city because I need some gold. Oh, yes, I can. You know what? I'm going to found another city. I'm going to pay one marble, one iron, and one gold with a wild card. So I get those back. And I'm going to found another city. I'll go on ahead and found this one. And I'll make it an iron. So that means I have to pay one extra because an iron is next to an iron. And so I've just increased my iron production even more so I can get more troops out. And that means I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! See, now if I had this, I'd have 10 and I'd score another point and I'd start catching up with Jen. But you know, I'll be there soon enough. So I've got this great empire to the, to the southwest. Jen is just keeping to herself. Her defense has failed her thanks to a well timed mutiny on my part, although she took it right back. But I think overall, Jen suffered heavier losses than that in that than me. And it is now her turn. And I think she's going to, well, does she want to get some more marble? I think she does. Which means she gets one, two, plus a dollar. Because I think what Jen's going to do is, Jen's going to try to very quickly build a temple here. Because that will increase the um, defense of this city significantly. Plus, you can get a, a temple and another thing. So I think that's what Jen's working on. And meanwhile, me, let's see, I got nothing. I'm totally broke. But I could start moving my troops around again. So these two guys could each move here. And this guy, there's no reason to move him. But I'll move them so I can start um, advancing on land. Uh, and along the way, capturing or, you know, founding more cities along the way. So, and now Jen, she is going to, is she going to do science? See, she's got enough money. She could increase her defense everywhere. How much did that cost? That would cost her four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's going to three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So Jen's going to do science. She's going to spend all of it to, to all of her defense increased one. That's another point for her. And this time, she doesn't get a defense on her city. But she's gotten more scholarly stuff. And, oops, I forgot. Let's see. So I can take merchant, corruption, or charity. Exchange three um, goods against three opponent's goods. So I could take three goods I don't want and give them to Jen. Exchange three units, marble, iron, gold, against three of opponent's units of your choice. Opponent loses one of each type. I think I'm going to do that because Jen keeps building up a lot of stuff, so I could corrupt her. Yeah. Although, Jen now has three per persons just to my one. I think I'll take some charity. I could use some charity. All right, because I've only got one. Jen's got three. I could use this right now, and I'd make... Uh, one coin for each. Yes, yeah, so I make two bucks off of this coin right now, which, you know, two wild cards could be a big difference. So that was Jen's turn. Now it's my turn again. I need some more iron so I can get these guys back on the board. And I get what? One, two, three, and a buck. And now Jen is going to. Ah, see, she wanted to jump right here to the temple, but. She costs her six marbles. She has it. Three plus... Oh, no, no. That's only five. She doesn't have enough. So she's going to have to come here to iron as well, which is going to get her one, two, one, two, two iron 
and a buck. And so now she'll be able to get her temple built with all of her conversion y stuff. All right, is that right? No, she was, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, she'll be able to do it. Okay. My turn again. Um, I'll come over here to so get some gold. And I get one, two, three, three gold plus a buck. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to found another city, uh, which cost me one gold, one iron, and I'll use this buck as a wild card for my marble. And I'm founding another city. Uh, let's go on ahead and do it over here. Because this could be, I mean, I, if it's marble, it'll cost me. Um, oh, so I'll make it iron because that doesn't cost me anything. So I can generate even more iron. And now I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 10. But you know what? Before I did this, at the beginning of my turn, I called for some charity, which got me two bucks. Was it two, two coins? And then I did this, and I got my second king. And so I've scored a second point. That's more defense I could place on the board. And um, so Jen gets one of these now. Corruption. Uh, lose goods. Exchange goods for each of your own city with a, a town wall collected on gold. Hey, you know what? Jen likes this. She has some cities with town walls, so she'll take some prosperity. Okay. Well, she might. She could do it right now, or she could wait until she gets her other town wall out to protect Genoa. All right. So that was my turn. And I'm happy with that. And so now Jen, she's going to come here. She's going to build a temple. Three, four, five, six. Here's six to build a temple. But whenever you build a temple next to an existing temple, you have to pay an extra buck. So Jen has to pay an extra buck. And now she's finally got her second temple. And Genoa is a little bit more protected. And unfortunately, while she, if she had one more marble, she could put this wall out as well. But she's going to have to wait on that. All right. And so now it's my turn again. Um, <laughs> hey, you know what? I think on my last turn, when I founded the one city, I was going to found another city. Here's another gold. Uh, no, because I, I didn't have the gold. That's why I didn't do it. Never mind. Okay. So, what am I going to do? <sighs> well, maybe it's time to jump here and recruit these two guys. I need four iron total. Here's three plus a wild card. Gets me these two ships back. One will come here, one will come here, and you, you can see which way they're facing. They want to come out. The interesting thing is I could build a really big navy, and because um, remember, there are bonus points to be had for um, having seven sea spaces claimed. And now what that means is, basically, you could do that in two ways. You could have seven boats on the board and just have them in regular spaces, but if you have your boat on one of these spaces, it counts as two boats. So for like with four boats, I could go, you know, I could have one here, here, here and here, let's say, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those seven boats would score me this. And then if they didn't go away, it would score me again on the next turn. So you can score two of your points really quickly if you get a good navy built up and spread it around into all these sea areas. So those are points just sitting there waiting. But me, I am moving in on Jen's terrain. But it's going to take me a while. I don't have streets. I don't have navigation. So I'm going to move very slowly, which gives Jen time to build up her defenses even more. She could get this guy back out, put him here. Uh, she could maybe, well, we'll, you know, but I think I am going to stop now because I think you guys have seen all the basics. You know, I mean, the game's barely begun, it would appear. Um, I'm obviously moving my war machine in. I'm in a much better position. Jen can produce goods like nobody's business. She is an economic powerhouse, so she can respond very, very quickly. She can afford to pay through the nose to jump around because she can produce a lot of stuff. And she can convert stuff into other stuff anytime she needs it. So Jen's doing pretty good as well, but I'm going to stop right there. And if you guys would like, you can go hear my final thoughts, such as they are, considering this is the first time I've ever played the game, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.